from our studios in Rockefeller Center. Here again is Jane Pauley. Seems to happen every Christmas. One particular toy takes off like a rocket and moving almost as fast, frenzied parents desperate to find it. So what's the next bestseller? One toy maker is betting on a new superheroine. She's from the same Japanese company that brought you the Power Rangers. Here's Lucky Severson. They make one out of every three cars that Americans drive. And most of the cameras and TVs, Walkman and VCRs. And now they've invaded our toy industry. American kids or their parents bought a billion dollars worth of Mighty Morphin Power Ranger toys in 18 months. Merry Christmas. Last Christmas, they scoured shelves and even offered bribes for toy rangers. And now, heads up, this blonde bombshell and her girlfriends have invaded the U.S. She's called Sailor Moon. And she's the latest hot item out of the brain factory of this man, Makoto Yamashina. See, just a girl's communication. No boys. Yamashina is the president of Bandai, the biggest threat to the American toy industry in memory. We're at the International Toy Fair in Tokyo. Distributors from all over the world come here to find what's new, what's up next in the $18 billion a year industry. Bandai is now the world's third largest toy maker, aiming to be number one by the year 2000. What's going to make you more successful than most other companies in this business? Because we concentrate on the, the trend, the, the, the characters. This is a comic crazed country. Kids and grown-ups bought 554 million comics last year. When a comic gets hot, popular, Bondi rushes in and licenses the characters, makes the toys, and then sponsors the television series with the toy characters. How do you change your programs for, for the Japanese audience to the American audience? Very simple. The costume is the same, the content is the same, but the... Uh, the casting stars is uh, different from American stars. Bondi's blonde Sailor Moon and her four girlfriends invaded the United States in September. These are Power Rangers who can be sweet and innocent one minute, tough and sexy the next. Now, does Sailor Moon here in Japan have blonde haired? Yes, from the beginning, yes. I have not seen too many Japanese girls who have blonde hair. So that's why the dream, you know, uh, the Japanese girl sees the black hair, but uh, she would like to be blonde. The creator of Sailor Moon is a young woman with black hair who's fresh out of college, Naoki Takeuchi. In a country where women still have their place and it's almost always behind a man, she's created a hit comic where all the heroes are women. There has never been anything like it before, female superheroes fighting villains. And if it makes girls feel good and want to see more, then I'm happy. Comics have been very good to Naoki. She's a millionaire whose hardest decision most days is whether to drive her Ferrari or her Porsche. When she does worry, it's over the changes they're making to Sailor Moon for the American audience, toning down her sexuality. She'll be wearing more clothes, and her TV programs won't have the sexual banter of the Japanese version. Drop that crystal! It's Sailor Moon! <laughs> Projected Sailor Moon sales for the U.S. this year, $150 million. Dreams for the kids, nightmares for American toy makers.